Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here. In this video, I'm going to be discussing artifact power. Artifact power is the probably the single most important thing in this expansion, actually, which is good and bad. Probably most people would say bad, but it can be good because it is easy to get for the most part. So I'm going to be discussing uh, thoughts on artifact power, and uh, what I'm going to start with is how I personally get artifact power. So I am currently on the tier that requires you to get 182 million. Now I know some hardcore people will be ahead of that tier, but um, that's probably further than most people are um, at the moment. Now, 182 million artifact power is a lot, um, but it's only going to get way worse from there. So, what do I do? So for artifact power for me personally, I go more with time management, I guess you'd say. And for me personally, um, it might be different for you. Maybe you can do things quicker than me or um, have a, a group um, set to do things better than me. So of course before the best way to get artifact power is just to farm like Mythic Mall of Souls, Mythic Plus Mall of Souls over and over again. Um, just start gathering artifact power. Now you can still do that to an extent although it's been nerfed uh, pretty heavily um, from the old way that you could do it. But you still can do that and just farm artifact power with Mythic Pluses. It's not a bad way to do it at all. But the way I do it is probably not a very popular way because I just kind of gave in to Legion. And the biggest way I get my artifact power is from World Class. So um, basically what I do is anytime there's a World Class that has definitely more than a million artifact power, um, although once you get your research up, if your research is completely caught up right now, pretty much almost everything's going to give you at least a million. So it's getting to the point where it's going to be like, if it gives me two million artifact power, then I'll do that world quest. So I just simply, um, if I have, you know, half hour, 45 minutes uh, of straight playing time to kill, I will log in, I will look at each zone, and I will, since I have flying, that's a big part of this, I will fly to each zone and do um, the world quests there. That give artifact power. What's nice of this, of course, as well is obviously you're going to get your emissaries done, um, and you also will um, be able to get your rep up with the factions and get that bonus cash with them as well, which I did get a mount from recently. So um, that was pretty cool from the uh, Dreamweavers. I got the mount. So uh, that's what that's what I do. Now these Legion invasions are also really nice. You don't have to do the full invasion if you don't want to. That last little bit won't give you a ton. I, I think it, where I'm at, it's like two million artifact power for the for completing the Legion event. However, some of the actual um, elite world quests in the invasion event, uh, they they'll give over two million artifact power. So I'll go and do those even. So you're talking um, with high end gear and a flying mount, three ten speed. Um, you fly to the zone, uh, maybe do three world quests there that take you almost no time whatsoever. Um, especially if it's just a lot of the high artifact power ones will be um, some of the PvP ones, and then it'll be like a warden's one, so you only have to kill one thing. So I'll fly there, kill it, fly next one, kill it, fly next one, kill it. So I'll have six million artifact power in, let's say, five, six minutes. I mean, that could, that could be lower, could be higher, depending on what I have to kill, how I had to fly. Next zone, do the same thing. So you might get 6, 12, 18, 24, 30 uh, million AP, and it might only take you, what, a half hour? So, I mean, now what's, what is that similar to? So you got to compare it. That's similar to running uh, a Nighthold or a uh, normal Emerald Nightmare run, because you can probably do that in about a half hour with a good group. Um, a normal Emerald Nightmare run with the Mage Tower buff as well, though you could probably get maybe 30 million artifact power. So it is comparable to that. However, this works even without the Mage Tower buff. Now, what am I also doing? What am I a stickler on is, again, I just embrace the game for what it is. There's these stupid followers, so I upgrade my followers. They are all really freaking badass. They're all legendary. They all have the three equipment slots, and I just uh, send them out on artifact power runs. So they, if I have, art, let's say I have two artifact power things at the same time, um, that's... 4 million each because I'm going to get the 200% bonus. So that's um, 8 million artifact power too. Now, of course, that isn't instant by any means like the world questing, but it's still really nice. Now, of course, um, I also do my uh, Legion Heroic uh, daily, and I usually just do that as a tank or whatever is going to give me the extra satchel, which you'll get a little bit extra artifact power for that. And then you'll also get your Defiled Ar Augment runes as well, which is nice to do. So I'll do one of those. And then I'll even do a PvP um, 
I don't recommend doing that, of course, if you don't like or aren't good at PvP, but I'll even do the PvP one uh, to get that daily one. Now, the last two things I said aren't anything new that anyone wanted to say, but um, what I will expand on just quickly is doing the old raids. Um, especially if you have that Mage Tower buff, it's very pertinent to go do any old raid that you can. Do the LFR and just farm the heck out of uh, Artifact Power. However, though, like I said, if you're like me, um, you can just go do the World Quest really quick. Let's say you don't feel like getting into a group, or in my particular case now, uh, you know, I have a baby I might have to attend to, so obviously I'm, I make myself free on the raid nights uh, for the gill, but it looks like I'm doing like an off raid on an off night. Um, I'm not just going to clear time out of my schedule to do that, so I want to be able to stop whenever I want, which is also a good thing about doing World Quest, is you can kind of multitask and do those at the same time. So, again, it's, it's just one of those things where if you just embrace the game, um, it can work out for you. Um, the artifact power, a lot of people hate it, but it is a way that, you know, I'm able to keep empowering my weapon without having to keep farming these old raids like other people are, because it is a diverse system. So, your argument could be, why well, don't artifact power at all? And I can't really argue against that. But once you admit that, okay, we have artifact power, let's embrace it. Um, there's so many different ways to acquire it that it's actually um, a good system if you are willing to accept it, of course. So um, I, I, I enjoy it because it's a good way to keep your DPS up. It's a good way to stay relevant with other people because it is such an important thing. Um, <laughs> your gear really doesn't matter if you don't have any of your points in your artifact weapon. Uh, you're just still going to be really weak because you don't have you just don't have those abilities. It's like extra abilities. Uh, it's like extra talents, so if you don't have those, you're going to be weaker. So it's a way to keep up with people even when you don't have the best gear. Um, you can still have the, you can still keep up with them in artifact power if you really want to. So I like that idea as well. Uh, a lot of people will say, well, you're just helping out the clubs. Well, you're also helping out um, non-clubs who have other real life things to do as well. So you're helping out more than one group of people. Uh, but yeah, so. Um, there hasn't been a lot of stuff to do videos on lately. I'm going to keep trying to put out content. It's, it's really easy for me to get distracted uh, with having a new baby and everything like that. So obviously I like to spend time with uh, him. But uh, I'm going to keep trying to put out videos even in this dull period of time. Maybe do some more top uh, DPS, top tank, top healer videos. Um, I have been healing again more. So I maybe will be putting out... Uh, some more healing videos, uh, which some people only subscribe to me for those. If you guys are still around, I appreciate it. If I haven't got to heal anything in a while. Uh, other than that, uh, thumbs up and sub as always, and everyone have a good one.